For Greek Cypriots, the outcome of the election in the north is being watched closely. According to analysts, there's a feeling that opposition challenger Mustafa Arkanche would revive the stalled peace talks between the Turkish and Greek sides. The discussions have been on hold since last October, when Greek Cypriots suspended their involvement in anger and perceived moves by Turkey to challenge their sovereign rights in exploring for natural gas. The Cyprus issue has repeatedly become the ground for political showdowns, he says. But this time, the recently discovered energy sources may turn out to be a good opportunity for important concessions from all. Only Turkey recognizes the self-declared Turkish Republic of northern Cyprus. The international community views the Greek Cypriot government in Nicosia as the legitimate government of the whole island. The UN expects the reunification talks to resume next month. The Greek Cypriots feel that if Nikos Anastasiadis and Dervis Irolu go to the negotiating table again, progress will be slow, she says, but things will be different with Arkanche. The limping talks have left Turkish Cypriots in political isolation and thousands of Cypriots on both sides internally displaced. Our correspondent says Greek Cypriots are taking a great interest in this election. They hope that a victory by moderate Mustafa Arkanche will eventually accelerate the peace process, which has stalled amid the presidency of incumbent leader Dervish Eroglu. Από τη Λευκοσία για το Euronews, σταμάτης Γιάννησης.